Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. Do you think people like the fact that you're married, or do you think it pisses people off? I don't. I don't. I honestly, I don't think people are that invested. You know, they don't. Okay. They don't like. Oh, like. I, I mean, see, even when your favorite actress or like you know someone you find really attractive or hot or something gets married, like. What what is upsetting you? Like what did you think you had a chance? No, you don't have a chance. Like it's not going to happen. You know, you're not going to meet this person. Uh, but I think people just like to say this, like, and, and it's sweet. Like you know, they enjoy. Uh, like sometimes, like I'll I'll be watching like a like a, a YouTube review or something. Uh, I want to listen. Hmm, it's too much romance in this. Hmm, I don't <laughs> like how how he's getting so close to that woman. And I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 but it is sweet i think i think i think people enjoy that right? like way you feel like this person belongs to you in some way uh, and that is also there there is there is ownership a lot of the times uh, viewers have a certain ownership which is why sometimes they get upset you know if uh, like they want a picture and and uh, you know you feel like you're looking like uh, a mess or something you're like so not not and then but why why can't you take a picture because suddenly you do belong to them in some way you know as actors or uh, I, th- i think there is a sort of sense of weird ownership that people have and i think all this comes from that okay fair yeah how old were you when you got married 28 was it 28 yeah 28 right age for a guy uh, weirdly all the men in my family have somewhere been around there and it was good i mean i i, I wish i'd maybe uh, been working a, a little before uh, for some time you know just kind of earning for myself and doing things on a whim you know going on a solo trip or things like which i can't do now um or i'll think a hundred times because my time is so limited uh, i'm always like you know i should try and you know do the holiday with 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 uh, my wife and daughter because they don't get time with me and so some of those things i i wish i'd done maybe uh, if i had that kind of money to spend you know uh, go to some concert in europe or something like you know that three day four day thing just go for a thing and come back but your girl was with you throughout your rise then that's the flip side yeah i guess i guess that's a dream for a lot of dudes just saying <laughs> every every guy dreams of marrying the girl who's with him when he's a nobody True. and then True. with him at the top as well no no absolutely yeah yeah sorry i, I didn't i didn't get what you're saying initially but she did see me when i was when i had no no clue I just told her like when I when we met, I was like, uh, uh, I want to at least act in one film and direct one film. These two things are like my bucket list, even if it's one film. I want to act just know like if I can, and I want to direct because I want to create something. I want to tell something. Uh, that's all I know. And I don't think she fully understood any of this. Like uh, her family has zero exposure to. the industry or even a lot of regional cinema uh, they like urdu speaking so they probably know more of hindi cinema than regional cinema um but she's seen this every day you know and even when it's been growing even when it's been bad days uh, and she's seen all of it and i think i think she balances me in that sense it answers my question about why you're so happy bro <laughs> little bit little no but you know you need that grounding i think uh, so if ever i act a little bratty you know she has the sort of freedom to tell me that you no know, i understand like you know things are going well and you're now the star but you know <laughs> come down that's the blessing that's the blessing and I, at the same school friends have that you know with me like they'll never treat me there's no uh separate lane for me there's no there's nothing there's no extra problem there's they don't even look they don't even look at me with a different lens we still have the same conversations the same we joke about the same things or uh, you know when we get together it's none of us are really even talking shop not, 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 nobody's discussing work and i love that i'm not trying to be intrusive with you at all so if you feel like not answering don't bro but i would actually like to know about your marriage just from a brotherly perspective because it's a phase i know i'm going to be heading into right myself so I want to know how your marriage evolved because I believe it was an arranged marriage. Ish. That, that's what Wikipedia says. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, so I've told this marriage story a lot, um, but I mean we were both from the same school. She was five six years my junior, and uh, 
uh, around this 26 27 i wasn't seeing anyone at that time uh, and i started getting these rishtas and stuff well, my mom was kind of like you know maybe it's time for you to settle down i'm getting these rishtas do you want to explore and i said i don't know if i like that process uh, and randomly i started bumping into my wife who i've never seen out in chennai till then ever like she's not very social i just never i was like where where was like where do these kids hang out i've never seen them but a lot of people kept telling me about her like you know you remember those uh, you know uh, a mile from school your junior and you know why aren't you both meeting like we think there's is definitely something there like it, it could be a possible um chemistry pair, chemistry or whatever um so when i started seeing her out and uh, i think i saw her out three times in a week and i have this weird thing with three you know uh, sometimes there are movies that come to me and uh, i say no to it and then it comes back and again i say no to it and if it comes back like some three four times like that i'm like maybe there's something i'm not seeing maybe these people are seeing me in it maybe i should do it so i was like okay i have never seen her out and suddenly i'm seeing her out so often uh, maybe it's a sign maybe i should reach out so i very 2000s uh you know that era facebook messages saying hi <laughs> you know i don't know if you remember me from school and uh i am getting all these rishtas and i think i'm sure you're also going through that in your house and if you're not seeing anyone or whatever and if you want to just grab a cup of coffee let's at least see if we get along and if it's terrible you know you would have just met a senior from school for coffee and that's it uh so she didn't reply for a couple of days and i was like uh <laughs> like did i just do something wrong and i crossed the line with somebody i don't know and which is very sweet she, she replied she's like no yeah no i i'd be open for it uh, sure let's meet sort of thing uh so i guess we both kind of kept the parents in in the loop being like you know we're going to meet uh, and then see if there's something there sort of thing how did you know that this girl is your wife i don't know i don't know i think up until then anyone i dated or i met or knew i could see them maybe uh with my friends or uh, when we're all hanging out or socialize or whatever i never saw any of them at home like in, i couldn't visualize some like cuz i would always think of my family my extended family everything because we're so close knit and there's so much of uh that bonding that we have and somehow like when i saw her as like i just see her there something you can't like articulate it exactly i can't articulate it. I, I, right. i just feel like i could see her as a part of my world as a part of my family okay. which i'd never seen with anybody else and how does the relationship evolve over time like the longest i've dated someone is like 3 and a half 4 years so i don't yeah yeah but then the same uh but also she was very young when we got married she was only like 23 or something um so she's grown up over time and uh it evolves in the sense See, also it was it was a my 30s was essentially me having met someone uh, me having taken this giant leap into this career and then trying to make that um uh, and kind of find each other and literally i came back from my honeymoon and i went straight to shoot my second film started and they waited only for my wedding to get done so we barely had a courtship uh, we met and we were married 6 months later um and there's only so much i think our families allowed us to really um travel or it's not like we could take some holiday together and stuff so it was very uh, meeting for coffee or going for a movie or things like that so we got married and instantly like that's when you know we would have the freedom to do anything we want but that's exactly when i started my career so in that sense uh, you know every little chance we got to hang together or spend time together or it meant a lot and i think we made the most of it so it's always been like long distance uh my, my entire marriage i think uh and that that works both ways isn't it takes effort but you also start to like value the little things right even if you're just home and chilling with a movie playing or doing nothing would you value that you know i don't get to do it because i'm always living out of a suitcase and i'm in some hotel somewhere uh so i don't know what <laughs> what we'd be like if i had some 9 to 5 job and i was always at home maybe 
you know, I would have driven her insane. But I think because I'm always coming and going. <laughs> you know, they say that every successful relationship contains one normal person and one crazy person. Is that I, true? I'm the crazy in this. Really? Yeah, I think so. Because you're such a good boy. Like... So imagine her, you know, like, I, mean, I, I, I still like to go out a lot. I love people around and um, uh, I'm not like, you know, the general crowds or anything, but like my same friends left to me, I would want them around all the time. <laughs> you know, I always want to go out with them. I always want them coming home. I want my house to be full of people. And uh, she's not that like, it's not like she's antisocial, but like she likes to turn in early. <laughs> Uh, there's a thing, you know, like there's, uh, there'll be one person who uh, sleeps at 10 and one person wants to step out at 10 and then they get married. So <laughs> we're like then that. Then it averages out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you could go back and tell that 28-year-old version of yourself something about relationships or about marriage, what would you tell that 28-year-old version? It's not just the wedding, right? A lot of people, when they say, I, I want to get married, I, I'm looking to settle down. Are always thinking of just the wedding, like it's like it's in the movies, you know. It's wedding, end of movie, happily ever after. And uh, but what marriage is is definitely companionship. Uh, is definitely, you know, having that one. Per- you know, there's there's a a line of film. Have, have you seen Shall We Dance? No. What's that film? It's a good film. Okay. So she, there's, Susan Sarandon says this line where she's like, we. Do you know why we can get married or we have a partner? Uh, is so there is someone with you to witness your every days. Like every little thing that happens in your day. It shouldn't go unnoticed. Someone should witness it. It can be something as silly as what did you eat for lunch? Uh, or I sprained my toe today. I stubbed my toe today or something the the most trivial of things that happen to you, you're not sharing that every day with your parents or your kids or anything. But I think whoever is your uh, partner on this ride called life is the only witness to, to your every day. You cried in front of your wife? Yeah, how many times? Like I, the big moments, right? Like the big, like whenever, I, I get emotional every time a film exceeds my expectation. Uh, Why, bro? I don't know. I think because I put in so much and maybe I had so much self-doubt, you know, if I'll make it as an actor uh, or if I'll make it as a... There's always some... something that you can't attain. Somebody will say, you, but you don't have this. But you don't have that. You don't have some 100 crore film. You don't have some 50 crore film. Something, you know. Uh, it's not like I chase numbers. But uh, you're, you're, you're talking about a human occurrence, dude. It's then no, no, I know. Throughout life. No, so I'm saying. So my point. I don't even understand why I get emotional. But like, so and you hear a script and you you see a film in your head. A lot of the times, filmmakers don't see the same film. That's where there's a mismatch. Like sometimes people are like, why did you choose this film? And I'm like, I saw it differently in my head. Maybe he saw it differently. And sometimes it matches, and that's a great thing. But sometimes it goes beyond that. That I find like. Destiny was at play. I don't know. I'm like it's it's so overwhelming for me. I'm like, oh my god! I only dreamt this much for this film. I thought it'd be this great, but it is that great. <laughs> Freaking god! You know. So great. those those moments for me on that release day when I see this joy and stuff like I've broken down out of joy, just like a happy something, but you feel like you need to like let it out. Ever out of sadness? You no, know, it wasn't out. Of, I mean, sadness obviously. Like if there's if there's some loss in the family or something like that but not not for anything else uh, but usually it's these things like when i got my first state award you know like I, I, and it's not like some happy tear thing but it's like i literally like break down uh, which i think it's good i mean i think it's healthy like it should come out uh, but she's witnessed all of that you're a blessed guy yeah i i do feel blessed when that happens a lot of the people who sit in that seat in front of me are very blessed and there's some people who just holding that extra 10% of blessings. And I say this very, like, genuinely, man. I'm not just saying that. Thank you. Like, you can tell a blessed person when you hear them speak and when you hear about their life and how humble they still are despite the success. Like, you know, you're constantly crediting it to not yourself 
uh, there is still self doubt which you know sometimes a small amount But of that is but you need it no like um, just to push yourself more like i don't know if i if i was supremely conf- i mean i'm always a little jealous of people who are so confident uh, but i think i think it's my self doubt or like uh, fear of not doing justice to a role or a film that stuff drives me a lot so trs clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our home page reading through all the playlists happens to